The Rubber City is looking for ways to bounce back from the coronavirus pandemic. Yeah, a new initiative called Akron Rebound was just launched. Bob Jones shows us how businesses are finding hope. Stan Hewitt Hall and Gardens, one of Akron's crown jewels, bringing 135,000 visitors each year. You know, we're a historic landmark. We've got 30 acres of gardens, uh, 70 acres of property. But Sean Joyce says the coronavirus has cost the iconic estate one to $200,000 so far, pushing back or canceling weddings, corporate events, even a huge Easter egg hunt that was scheduled for tomorrow. A thousand people were supposed to be coming. So we refunded all those um, tickets. All over town, small businesses are struggling. Those that aren't essential are closed and unsure of reopen dates. Many restaurants doing only delivery or carry out are really hurting. I think we all have that fear that there are some businesses that won't be able to survive and that would be terribly unfortunate. And our hope is that this will in some way give them a little bit of a boost. Greg Mervis from the Akron Summit Convention and Visitors Bureau says that boost to the hospitality sector is coming from the launch of Akron Rebound, a website providing links to business interruption and economic injury disaster loans, ideas on how to connect with customers via social media, and a resource guide on COVID-19. And we wanted to do this now so when we're ready to rebound, it's in place. And it wasn't like, oh, let's figure this out now that we took advantage of this time we have now to be prepared to have people working through this to come out in the best position possible. Phase two of Akron Rebound will focus on thriving, working on strategies to improve tourism and bring people back to businesses when normal activities resume. And our hope is that when this again is in the rearview mirror that we will gather and travel again. Mervis and Joyce believe it's critical to help small businesses during these hard times. We are definitely um, have, are trying to take advantage of the opportunities to get some funding to help offset those losses. While the timing on Akron's rebound remains uncertain, <coughs> Joyce is confident the bounce back will happen. Now don't forget about us and we'll be ready when the time comes to welcome everyone back in. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.